My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You're welcome to episode number 36 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at latent heat. Latent is from the Latin word latere or latere, which means to hide or cover up. To hide or cover up. Before now, we both agree that matter can exist in three major states. Solid liquids and gaseous states or let's say gases solids liquids and gases we also sat down to agree that matter can change from solid to liquid and we said that is melting we also agree that matter can change from liquid state to gaseous state and we also say that that is vaporization or evaporation. Whatever you choose to call it. Now look at something. When heat is applied to solids, it gets to, it will be in solid state. Heat is this solid, heat is this solid, heat is this solid, heat is this solid. Before you know, it at a particular point like this, it changes to liquid. Because there must be a transition between the solid state to liquid state. This is where latent heat comes in. Latent heat provides the extra energy. required to change the state of matter so as you apply heat or heat is given or removed from this solid it gets to a point where it begins to change to liquid that extra energy required to change the state of this substance is referred to as latent heat now latent heat works as to change the state of matter but without changing this the temperature so this heat can change the state of matter without the temperature of the substance increasing or reducing irrespective of the state that it is this is one of the reasons we refer to it as latent heat we can therefore say that latent heat is the heat that changes the state of matter without changing temperature. When it comes to latent heat, there is no temperature difference. This is obviously the opposite of specific heat capacity and heat capacity we looked at in the last two episodes. In heat capacity or specific heat capacity, there is no change of state. However, there is temperature difference. But for latent heat, it is the heat required with change of state but no temperature difference. Matter changes from one state to another. We have two major latent heat that you should look at. One is latent heat of fusion. And two, latent heat of vaporization. Latent heat of fusion is the heat or extra energy needed to change a substance 
from solid state to liquid state without changing the temperature with no temperature difference so if a heat is applied or energy is applied to change matter from solid state to liquid state without raising or decreasing the temperature of the substance we say that that extra heat or that extra energy provided is the latent heat of fusion now latent heat of vaporization is the heat required to change matter or to change the state of matter from liquid state to gaseous state at constant temperature so when you are dealing with latent heat you don't see change in theta like you saw earlier that h is equals mc change in theta no for latent heat the heat is equals ma latent heat changes the density of a substance latent heat can change the volume of a substance but the mass remains the same whether the substance is in solid or liquid state the mass remains the same so the latent heat does not change the mass of a substance and it does not change the temperature in summary when it comes to change of states we are dealing with latent heat and this heat is hidden or invisible when you hear change in temperature know that we are dealing with thermal heat and we said that thermal heat is equals mc change in temperature h is equals ml so this is lat for latent heat and this is for thermal heat l is the specific latent heat why here c is specific heat capacity why mc is heat capacity the way we answer questions under heat capacity and specific heat capacity is similar to what we do in latent heat the way we answer questions under specific heat capacity and heat capacity or thermal heat generally is similar to how we answer questions under latent heat for example if external energy is applied we know that energy or electrical energy is power times time it is also i vt and it is i squared arrow t so you can equate here you can say ml is equals pt from here you can actually find your specific latent heat or whatever you are looking for now look at something else steam possesses thermal heat and latent heat and steam possesses greater heat per unit mass this is why steam bond will cause more damage than other water in other states and steam possesses latent heat of fusion and change in state brings about change in density change in volume and change in heat content however change in state does not bring about change in temperature when you hear change in state or when matter changes state temperature always remains constant and specific latent heat of fusion is the amount of heat required to change the state of a unit mass at its boiling point so the need the heat you need to change the state of a unit mass of a substance of an object at its melting point without raising temperature is referred to as specific latent heat now latent heat of fusion is the heat of the latent heat provided or available when substances change from solid state to liquid state at their melting point without rise in temperature right now how about when substances or matter change from liquid to solid look at it solid to liquid that is latent heat of fusion if this substance changes back from liquid to solid it will have to lose its latent heat of fusion it gains latent heat of fusion to change from solid to liquid 
If it is, is if it eventually changes from liquid to solid, the latent heat of fusion will be lost. A heating coil rated 1000 watts. Power is equals 1000 watts is used to boil off completely 2 kg of boiling water. So mass of mass is equals 2 kg. The time required to boil off the water is time is equals question. And we are given the latent heat of vaporization to be 2.3 and 10 to the power of 6 joule per kilogram. Ladies and gentlemen, you are given mass, you are given specific latent heat of vaporization, which is L. You are given power and you are looking for time. And we are told that a heating coil rated 1000 watts, that is 1 kilowatt, is used to boil. This is basically conversion of electrical energy to heat energy. So, this latent heat or this heat content, ML, therefore, equals power times time. And time is equals ML over P. And that is 2 times 2.3 times 10 to the power of 6 over 1000. That is basically your answer. Let's see the result. That is 4.6 times 10 to the power of 3. Look at this. This is the same thing as 2 times 2.3 times 10 to the power of 6. Now, once this 1000 go up, 1000 is 10 to the power of 3. As it goes up, it becomes times 10 to the power of minus 3. 3 goes up to become times 10 to the power of minus 3. Remember, this is the same thing as 2 times 2.3 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by 1000, right? And we know that to change division to multiplication, we invert. So this becomes times 1 over 1000. So 1 over 1000 is 0 0.003. And in standard form, it is 10 to the power of minus 3. So if this comes up, the law of indices says when two bases are the same, you add the power. 6 plus minus 3, that will give you 3. That is how we arrive at times 10 to the power of 3. And 2 times 2.3, that is 4.6. So, you don't need to solve everything with calculator. And questions under standard form are usually very, very easy. Ladies and gentlemen, calculation questions under latent heat are similar to heat capacity. If you are given a question and the mass is in grams, convert to kilograms, provided your specific latent heat is also given in per kilogram. Then, if you are asked to look for specific latent heat and you are given the heat content and you are given the mass, you already know what to do. If external energy is applied, electrical energy, and you have resistance, time, and current, then you equate to ML just the way we did in heat capacity and specific heat capacity. Then get the flash, then jump up and begin to look at questions under latent heat. Anyone you have problems with, feel free to let me know. Make sure you get the app, play with questions. And if you have questions regarding this class, feel free to let me know. See you in the next episode.